Roll the jazz music, please. That was wrong. This is actually my first time on Unreal Engine, and I don't know what the f- Although I removed everything from the scene, but the shadows are still there. Uh, what about, uh, after some research, I found out a little bit more about Blueprint, the visual scripting thing on, you know, on Unreal Engine. Then I tried making a base, adding a pole to it, and adding some physics constraints. And then by guessing my way around the blueprint for the first time, I managed to give the pole a random rotation every time the game gets played, so that the algorithm can explore different states of the pole. Then I got tired of the blueprint and started coding for some while. That was a mistake. Because you see, when you're using C++ and Unreal Engine, you have no other choice other than Visual Studio to get auto corrections and auto suggestions. And Visual Studio, it it just doesn't work. It takes too long to suggest anything, and there are no good docs for C++ and Unreal Engine either. Unreal Engine, get your things fixed, please, please. <sighs> After coding for some while, well, I'll hit play. And it's not... what... what is that? Then I coded for a little bit more, and then tried hitting play again. After gathering myself together and calming down, I created a new project and managed to code the input uh, managing of the uh, pole balancing thing properly and now you can control the uh, base of the pole and balance the pole with uh, keyboard input. So yeah, that was that, <clears throat> that was a successful attempt to do that. To do the machine learning part, we have two choices, to code everything ourselves <laughs> or to use TensorFlow and OpenAI baselines. But those things are only available for Python and Unreal Engine uses C++. Oh no, or whatever. We can actually connect these two different processes using a TCP connection. This is the code for a TCP connection in C++ and this is the same code in Python. That's proof for the fact that knowing to code in Python doesn't make you a developer. Yeah. And also this was the only C++ tutorial for Unreal Engine TCP sockets. This. In this video we will see how to connect to TCP server with Unreal Engine. After so many hours of trying to get things right, I finally managed to get things right. Now, as you can see, on the right we have a Python process, which is giving random orders to the C++, C++, C++ process of the po, of the po on the on the left, and they're connected through a TCP socket. Now it's time to bring TensorFlow and OpenAI baselines to the equation and connect all these little parts together and let the pole learn to balance itself. And after some time it actually got it right and now it can balance the pole. <sighs> that feels good. 